Hi everyone, I'm Greg Corson and I want to show you the new Live Link face that was released with Unreal 4.27 the other day. This works with 4.26 and 5.0, which I'm using right now, uh, as well. And it's a big improvement over the old version. The old version didn't have any way to calibrate your face, so that if your normal look wasn't quite right, the mouth wouldn't close or the eyes would seem to be popped open all the time or looking in the wrong direction. With this new calibration, there's no problem with keeping your mouth shut, like this. And you can smile and do other things much more easily too. One of the things that's particularly interesting about this version is that it seems to have had other improvements besides just the calibration function. I noticed right away that even before I calibrated everything, the mouth was closing more properly and overall the face looked a bit more natural. Unfortunately, I can't go back to the old version easily to show you the difference, but you can always take a look at one of my older videos, which I'll put a link to above my head here. Besides just calibrating your face to make it look better, there's a couple of other uses for this calibration function. One of them is if uh, you want to have the phone not right in front of your face, but maybe off to one side or down below your monitor screen just so that it's not in the way. If you want that, you can calibrate it with your uh, phone in that position, but looking straight ahead, and the calibration will do a pretty good job of straightening everything out. So that you can have the phone below the monitor and have your character still look like they're looking straight ahead when they're looking at the center of the monitor. Here's what you have to do to get the new one and do a calibration. First off, you can go to the App Store and look for Live Link Face. You can just do a search and it should be the first one that shows up. You can look at this and see version 1.1.0, which was just updated. That's what you want to have. So if your button says Update, go ahead and press it to update the software. And you can open it up. This is what it looks like on my iPad. They said that this version was updated to work on the iPad, although I have found that the old one worked on the iPad too. So I'm not really sure what they changed other than the fact it seems to use the full screen now. Now to check the version that you have, you can just touch the screen and touch the gear. And if you see this option in settings called calibration, then you have the latest version. What you want to do is go in there and enable it and set countdown and then go back to settings. Recording a calibration is very simple. All you have to do is press this little icon down here. And since I've calibrated it before, I'm going to say recalibrate. Now you make a neutral expression like they say, just kind of relax your face and look straight at the camera on the iPad and then touch the record button and you'll get a little 3, 2, 1 countdown and then it'll calibrate. And if you're satisfied with that, you just press save. And now you're calibrated and ready to go. This version will record both the calibrated and uncalibrated version of the uh, Live Link data on the iPad, but it only sends the calibrated version over to the PC with Unreal on it. So that's just about everything. I hope you try this out and I think you'll find it works way better than the older version. Just remember to remove the manual calibration stuff that you may still have in your blueprints from before this version. That's all there is for now. Talk to you later.